black twinberry uh, growing along the trail and canal at Cottonwood Island Park. So there's a species that likes moist to wet forest sites and it can become quite, pro quite prolific, meaning expanding quite broadly given the chance. So if you give it enough light and open, um, it can spread quite rapidly on a site if it has enough moisture and enough light to do so. So I've taken a whole bunch of photos. I think I got some of the flowers and some of the berries when they're in good condition. Um, this one, it's late in the season, it's end of August, and they're turned to slime. Um, but they're a shiny black berry that come out in pairs along underneath the leaves there. Hence the name black twinberry, so shiny black berries twinned. The flower will be yellow in the spring. And then late in the season, once the berries are gone, this is called a bract. It's a modified leaf structure that surrounds the berry. Those will stay on the stem for quite a long period of time, even after the leaves fall off. There's some dried up ones there. So helpful for winter identification of this species. Another really helpful feature, especially for winter, is the square stem. Um, difficult to capture on video, but when we're out or you're out on your own, look at this species, make sure you grab a hold of that stem, um, especially on the young twigs. As it gets older, it tends to round out as it gets wider and puts on growth. Um, so the older stems are rounded with shredding bark. So this is it here. The leaves are opposite and pretty elliptical, fairly prominent venation or deep veins in the leaves. Um, but the key features will definitely be that shredding bark on the older stems, square stems on the younger stems, and looking for the twin berry structure. So whether the berries are come and gone, maybe there's just some bracts left over.